Hello. Today I'm going to show you some experiments with gibberellic acid and some other chemicals on plant growth. This is my gibberellic acid. It is a 300 part per million solution I made by diluting down a 1000 part per million solution. I bought my gibberellic acid from United Nuclear. When you buy gibberellic acid from United Nuclear, you get the spray bottle, a stock solution, and a paper showing you how to use the gibberellic acid. I will be spraying the gibberellic acid once a day on the selected plants. The next chemical I will be using is iron. This is an iron sulfate solution I made by dissolving iron metal in copper sulfate. The solution is concentrated and I will add a few drops when I water the selected plants with iron. The final chemical I will be using is this miracle Grow soluble fertilizer. When I water the plant, the selected plants, I will use this fertilizer in the water. I will also be using compost on one plant. These are the pots that I will be using for my gibberellic acid experiments. The first one is just a control. The second is gibberellic acid. The third is the fertilizer. The fourth is the fertilizer and gibberellic acid. The fifth is compost. And the sixth is iron. For the compost one, I'm using homemade compost from my compost pile. It is last year's compost, so it has had a full year to digest in the compost pile. The seeds I am using are radish seeds due to their small plant size and quick growing time. In each pot, there will be one radish growing for a total of six plants. Today is day 11 and all of the plants have germinated. From now on, I will spray gibberellic acid once a day on the selected plants. These are what all of the plants look now after exactly three weeks. Now I'm going to spray the gibberellic acid on this one and this one, like I always do. But today I'm going to start giving the fertilizers into the other two plants, which are the fertilizer and gibberellic acid and the fertilizer. I'm also going to start giving the iron to the iron plant. Now for the fertilizer, I have 150 milliliters of water. And I have this solution of the fertilizer. I'm going to take five milliliters of the solution and add it into the water. And now I'm going to use that to water the fertilizer plants. I'm only using a small amount of fertilizer because I don't want to give an overdose and burn the plants. Now, now I'm going to repeat with the other two plants. Now I'm going to add some more of the fertilizer. And add it into there. And then water the other fertilizer plant. Now I have to repeat one more time for the iron. Now this is my iron sulfate solution. I added 5 milliliters of the concentrated iron solution into some water. Now I'm going to take 1 milliliter of that solution and water the plant with it. There we go, there's the iron. You can see it's a yellow solution. Now I'm going to water this plant. I 
Okay, that's it. These are the plants after one month. First is the control. That's the smallest. Next over is the gibberellic acid. On this you can see very big leaves, and the radish is kind of tall. I'm assuming that's a side effect of the plant hormone. The next plant is the soluble fertilizer. This one has a very nice radish on it, and is looking pretty good. Next over is the fertilizer and gibberellic acid. This one has some insect damage on it, as you can see on this leaf. And it looks and it has big leaves like the gibberellic acid plant. The next plant over is the compost. This has two plants in it, and that's why it looks kind of bigger. The radishes on this plant have not started to swell yet. Finally is the high iron plant. It's looking kind of smallish, and the radish is just starting to swell. But it looks a lot greener than the other plants. Here's one of the gibberellic acid plants to compare it to. You can see that the leaves on the iron plant are slightly greener and darker. These are all the plants at the end of one and a half months. First, here is the control. Ironically, this one is the smallest. Next is the gibberellic acid. This one has a long, mutated-looking radish, and the cotyledons are still visible, which is weird because they should have dropped off about a month ago. It only has two leaves on it, two real leaves. Here is the soluble fertilizer. This is a very good-looking plant. This is the soluble fertilizer and the gibberellic acid. This one is by far the largest plant and has a perfect radish on the bottom of it. Here is the compost plant. This one is kind of smallish. And finally, the iron plant. This one is a little bit bigger than the compost. It has a small radish on it but the leaves on this plant are slightly darker. Here is the gibberellic acid plant in comparison. You can see that the leaves on the iron plant are slightly darker. Thanks for watching my plant growth experiments video. If you want information about the heights and weights of the different plants, please see the video description. For those of you who want to see it, now I'm going to pull out each one of the different plants. Um, there is the control. Here is the gibberellic acid. There is the soluble fertilizer. You can see it split right down the bottom. Here is the soluble fertilizer and gibberellic acid. Very large roots on that one. Here is the compost. Split right down the bottom. And finally the high iron. This one too split.